and we're back in the car. So we are going to Koshalin. Uh, it's in the north of Poland, very close to the sea. And we're going to show you. Oops, police. Oh, that's our police. And today as a co-pilot we have our amazing dog Sven. Sven, say hi. How's traveling? Pump in his bed. Checking Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> we also have a baby, almost a sip. It's our first trip with a baby that long. That long I mean in the car. As a whole family! Last and time we took Sven for such a long drive, it was when we were moving back from the city we go to. And he was a teeny tiny small baby. And now he's all grown. admire some nature and all the trees that he could pee on <laughs> so we have extra uh, harness for Sven that you can strap here in the back and we have extra strap for the car just for safety so he's safe he doesn't fall Okay, Sven needs a little break. <laughs> so we got this foldable bowl for water. It's quite comfortable to, to have it for water wherever we go. And we don't have to have extra bottle for Sven. Now Sven does want to drink, wants to play. Sven, look. If he could, he would lay down in the bowl. In the bowl. Next time we'll get you bigger one. downgrade Sven because he got into conflict with the pilot so he's now in the back like, I don't have space here guys so I go to sleep <sighs> and it was so hot for him in his bed we are driving through north of Poland and it's amazing uh, really the, the south and north of Poland is uh, the nature is completely different. There is much more inhabited places in the north than in the south of Poland. So north has a lot of nature, lots of forests, this old road that's that's going for kilometers through forest and it's very pretty. So yeah we had two stops we probably have we'll have one more. No. No we won't? No. We'll see how our babies will do. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. 
So we arrived yesterday and we were too tired to record. But the trip was nice. It was easy to, um, to make it. Sven had to go to the back part because he was always jumping to the front of me <coughs> while I was driving. But we should do more often like stuff like this where we take him with us. We usually don't take him for long trips, just small places, but it's nice that we can now take him to the beach and he can run on the sand and enter the sea, the Baltic Sea, and just have fun. The only thing that bothers me to travel with Sven is that if it's too hot outside, even with AC on, it's hard to breathe for yeah, him. It will, it will be hard breathing all the time. Well, actually, we chose to travel. It well, was a we great didn't... day, actually, yeah, to yeah. travel, but for humans. It was perfect. No, oh, even for him, Dulcidio. It was 20 degrees. It was cloudy all, all, most of the trip. Cloudy and rain. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so for sure that was easier for him than 30 degrees. And when we came, he was full of energy because he spent all day laying down. <laughs> Yeah. For we, the travel was like over seven hours because we caught a lot of traffic and it's also 600 kilometers but when we came he was running like crazy and going around everyone like crazy well I, like French bulldogs do Sven, so you like traveling with us? you do don't you? you like when we take you with us? so how was it? tell the people how do you like? sitting in the front seat. Hachi. Let's go. Okay, thank you very much for watching us again. See ya. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.